Okay, so we're back, and uh, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be scraping off all of the uh, varnish and the uh, original finish that was on this gun. It was all beat up, and it had uh, chips and splotches, and it was even peeling in some places. And um, since I redid this butt plate, I decided I'm going to re just redo the whole uh, rifle as well. So um, I just have this stripper stuff in a spray can that I got at Home Depot. And uh, sprayed it all over and it's been sitting on here for about 15 minutes or so and then um, after a while I'm just going to start scraping it. it takes all the old varnish off so I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue on with this until I get it all off and then I'll turn the camera back on and then we'll show you guys what I'm going to be doing next okay so I uh, scraped all off all of the uh, the old uh, varnish off of here and um, it's just bare wood now as best as I can get it and then what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna sand down um, the stock and um, just work my way down so it's nice and smooth um, the foreend here um, looks like it's a different type of wood but I don't know we'll see I'm gonna start sanding it we'll see if it uh, gets any brighter but um, Anyway, so the stock looks pretty good uh, anyway, and um, now I'm just going to spend some time just to get down and uh, sanding it all down and uh, trying to make it uh, or prepare it for uh, staining and finishing. So we're going to go ahead and do that and um, turn the video on when we get uh, close to done. Okay, so we're back. Um, I uh, sanded it down to uh, all the way down to 220 grit sandpaper, and what you see here now is uh, the first coat of this um, Kona dark stain. Um, it's the only stain I had available at the moment, and I think it looks pretty good. I, I kind of like the dark uh, stocks, um, finished dark st stocks. But anyway, so there you go. I'll probably put another coat on here. May try to make it a little bit darker. Um, but you can see that there's still some dings and uh, gouges or little cracks and stuff in the stock. And uh, you know, I just wanted to. I just kept it like that. I didn't go all, all overboard in correcting every little defect in this thing. But all in all, I think it looks great. Um, I'm probably going to put a few coats of uh, linseed oil on it. I don't really like the gloss finish on stocks, but uh, the linseed oil I think will be good. And um, so there you go. I'll uh, put the camera on when I get the uh, when I get the linseed oil on. See how it looks. Okay, we're back. Um, I've got uh, three coats of linseed oil, and I've got uh, two coats of wax on this gun. And uh, you can see nice sheen on the stock but it's not glossy and it feels really good too. Um, I like the way it came out. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna re-blue uh, the metal parts on the gun and um, get it all put back together. One thing though is uh, this forestock here, this upper uh, forearm here, um, came out a little bit darker. I think it was different, different kind of wood than the wood that they use for the stock. Um, it looks a lot darker on video, but it's uh, it's uh, it just came out uh, darker than the rest of the stock. But that's okay. Um, it's not a big deal. But anyway, um, like I said before, there's some pits and divots, and dents in the stock, and I decided to leave them like that. Um, you know, it's a military surplus gun. I want it to look old, and I want it to look uh, used. So with those divots and things. Uh, it definitely is used. 
but anyway, so there you go. There's a stock. Um, I'll get this uh, the the metal blued and uh, get this thing all assembled, and then I'll show you how it looks. I'll put up another video to show how it looks when it's done. Castor Bowcraft, thanks for watching.